Hi, I'm Justin from EMS. I'm the resident coffee geek there. Today we're going to talk about domestic setup for home, the ideal coffee machine and grinder. This is what I have in my home. These are my favourite. Today I'm using the BFC TCI Twin Boiler, which has a full-size E61 head, the same as the machines you have in a proper cafe, and a full-size porter filter. I can adjust my steamer to be more powerful without heating up my head and burning my coffee, so that's why we like Twin Boiler. And I'm also using the Matcap M2M grinder, which is a fantastic little grinder, commercial teeth, great adjustment, and it grinds on demand. Three things that are very, very important that we are aware of, especially when loading our water filter. First of all, we need good coffee, good quality coffee. The amount of coffee we put into our handle is really, really important. The fineness of our coffee is really important. And of course, how hard we tamp our coffee. So those three variables will change the consistency of your pour. The pour needs to be consistent so you get the sweet spot out of your coffee. When we go to load our porter filter, we need to rinse it, including the spigot, give it a good wash, getting off any excess coffee from the previous shot. Really dry it out. Getting all the water out. And then load it. So it's nice and hot. We're going to fill it with coffee. I like to put my hands here and catch any over splash. I'm going to overfill it a little bit. Then I'm going to settle it just simply by putting it on the table. Then I'm going to level it. I need to get a really even amount of coffee in there. Nice and even. No holes in my pack at all. Then I'm going to tamp it. Simply by putting it on the bench. I like to angle it a bit away from me. The tamper I'm going to have into my palm and my fingers. So I've got a good strong grip and I'm going to be putting pressure on my palm and my fingers evenly. Angle it a bit away from me. Straight wrist, bent elbow and like a piston action with a little twist. I like to do it twice. Shake off any excess and then back to the machine. Nice and quickly purge your machine. Insert and brew. When we insert the handle, it's really important that we brew immediately. The coffee sitting in there dry will get really hot and burn, so we need to get the liquid onto it quickly. As it's starting to pour, it's really quite slow and looks quite stripy. That's really good for this coffee. This coffee's sweet spot has tiger stripe. We want it to take about 28 seconds to do our shot. Turn it off and remove it. We need to clean our handle and put it back on the machine so it stays hot and ready for the next time. Now we've got our shot.